Cheeks and Squeaks Ventura, I wanted to share with you my brand new cage from my three female Syrian hamsters. Obviously this is a Critter Nation cage, but it is a triple level. I bought it on Craigslist, which I was totally scouring because these cages are pretty expensive uh, to buy brand new, and I found someone who happened to be selling a triple level that used to use it for rats, and that was perfect for me and my three girls. Uh, because it would be so tall with the three levels on it, I opted to not install the bottom shelf, and it works just fine. I just put the uh, ends on carpet mover so that I can move it around my house. Obviously, I don't keep it in the middle of the room usually, but this is just where the lighting was best in my house, so uh, it's usually against the wall where none of my other pets can get to it, so don't worry about that. Anyway... This is meant to be a rat cage, and because of that, this needs a couple modifications. So we don't really recommend this cage for beginning owners, uh, unless you're totally dedicated, which is awesome. But uh, there are a couple expensive modifications and just things that you have to kind of figure out by knowing hamsters. For example, you can see that I bought special stainless steel cage pans from the Bass Equipment Company, and their website is linked below in the description box. And that's to hold bedding because the pans that come with this cage are super shallow and don't hold anything. I also had to buy extra shelves just because they were climbing up to the top and there's just falling back down to the bottom. And I didn't like that. They only did it once and they were super safe. But as soon as I saw that happen just to one of them, I went out and bought for, uh, new shelves and kept them in their previous cages just for a couple days while I waited for them to come in. Anyway, I'm going to zoom in on Beauty's cage and go through all of the cute stuff that I put in there. Uh, and then I'm going to go into a couple of the little differences that are in the other two girls' cages. So, let's get to it. This is a little ceramic pumpkin that I found at Target. I found it in the dollar section at the front of the store, but I haven't seen them there for a little while. These are some of my favorites. I found these little gift boxes at Dollar Tree and I just cut out the doors with an X-Acto knife. Beauty is nesting in the one on the right. Super cute. I also bought this cauldron at Dollar Tree. I just zip tied it to the bars on top and it acts as a little hammock. I threw a few paper towels in there just to be soft on her little feet and it's such a functional little easy thing to do. Here are some more of her toys. The little orange box I bought at Dollar Tree and it just acts as a platform for her getting out of the cauldron. She also has a senior size woden wheel and another little ceramic ghost that holds food, which is also from Target. Right underneath her ramp, I have a little ceramic pumpkin that I bought for $10 at Target. You can find them in the Halloween section. I added some bedding just in case she wanted to nest in there and she did for a little bit, but then she decided to move. Oh my gosh, I am in love with these. I bought these little spiderweb baskets at Dollar Tree. I just zip tied one of them to the side and threaded some paper clips together to help it hang so it's more secure. And the other one is just attached with paper clips all together so it swings a little bit for her and she totally loves it. Inside of each of them, I just put some paper towels and some candy corn care fresh just in case she does want to lay down in there. They act as platforms and just give her a little bit more cage space. This is one of my favorite tips. That bucket is called a Fortiflex mini pan and it acts as Beauty's sandbox. Because it has high sides, she can't kick sand all over the cage, which is something I find super annoying, especially in barred cages. I also put another little ceramic hideaway in there, which just kind of keeps her grooming sand separate from her bathroom sand and gives her a little place to give herself a bath. I bought this little kitty cat at Target too. If you look closely, you can see a cookie that Beauty decided to drag in there. That's one of the Petco Treat Bar's Halloween cookies. They put out different ones pretty much every holiday, and I always buy them because my hamsters love them, and it's really awesome that you can buy them in small quantities. This is just a little plastic drinking glass that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Sometimes Beauty likes to bring her food in there. 
This is a little ceramic hideaway thing that I found at Goodwill a couple of years ago. I don't know what it's used for, but it's really great for keeping my hamsters cool since we live in California and it gets pretty warm over here. This is Beauty's food dish. It's just a little doggy dish that I bought at PetSmart a couple of years ago. I haven't seen them there this year, but it is super cute. This is just a little plastic storage basket that I bought at Dollar Tree. I was originally going to zip tie them to the sides to act as levels, but then I went ahead and bought those shelves anyway, so I didn't really need them. I just filled it with bedding in the hopes that maybe she would nest in it, and Glinda actually has decided to nest behind it, so I consider that a success. <laughs> Finally, I think these are the best bottles for this cage. They're the Oasis Bell Bottles and they just clip right to the bars. Now here are a few of the differences in Berlin's cage. Here I have a little Happy Meal bucket from last year and it's Book of Life themed. I just zip tied it to the shelf right above that and it acts as a little platform and gives her a little bit of extra cage space. I put a paper towel and some Carefresh bedding in there just because. <laughs> I have a Peanuts Happy Meal bucket right behind that, and I just used a paper clip to attach that one to the shelf above it. For the record, you don't actually have to order a Happy Meal, you can just buy the toy for a couple dollars. I bought this little coffin at Dollar Tree too. I just cut out two of the panels to make kind of a tunnel for her with an X-Acto knife. She totally loves it. You can also see that she has a junior size Wodent wheel instead of a senior like Beauty. That's just because she's a youngster, but she'll be growing into a senior Wodent wheel pretty soon. Berlin also has a different ceramic pumpkin. I bought that one at Goodwill, but I think that the original owner of the pumpkin bought that at CVS, in case you were looking for that specific design. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Glinda's cage. Glinda is a super active hamster, so she actually has two wheels. This is her 12-inch flying saucer, and this is her 12-inch silent spinner. She's also super clumsy, so I gave her a couple extra platforms. This is one of her little hammocks. It's just a little cardboard box basket thing that I bought at Target for a dollar and just connected to the shelf above using paper clips. This is her little monster hideaway. I bought it at Petco like years and years ago, so I don't know where you can get it now, but she loves flipping it over and I have to straighten it every single morning. She's so funny. Well, that's pretty much the whole cage, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks again. Happy Halloween.